Hey everyone, Mr. Kaczynski here. I'm back into section double B of IXL's Algebra 1 skills because they snuck a new skill in here. It's graphing quadratic functions in standard form. Definitely a good thing to learn. Let's go through it here. We've got this function f of x is 7x squared minus 14x plus 5. And the first thing we're going to do is plot the vertex. Okay, so there's a very simple formula for the x value of the vertex and the axis of symmetry for that matter. It's negative b over 2 times a. So in this formula, or in this function, b is negative 14. So I'm going to do the opposite of negative 14 over 2 times a, and a is that 7 right there. So that gives me 14 over 14, which is 1. So now we've got the x value of the vertex. We need to find the y value of our vertex, all right, which, uh, or the f of x value of a vertex. So we're going to plug that 1 into the function f of 1 would be 7 times 1 squared minus 14 times 1 plus 5. 7 times 1 squared or 7 times 1 is 7. Negative 14 times 1 is negative 14 plus the 5. Add those all up and we get f of 1 is uh, 7 minus 14 is negative 7 plus the 5 is 2. So that's a point. Uh, that's our vertex, 1, 2. When, F is, or when x is 1, y is 2. So we'll plot that on our graph. And then really the other part is just, I usually try to grab this y-intercept right there because we only have to select one other point on the parabola. So that point right there is the y-intercept. So we can just plot that point and we've got our equation or we've got our function graphed right there. There's our 5 for our y-intercept. You can also see that the vertical stretch is 7. So this goes up 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and right 1. So there's another way to get another point. All right, let's do this again. Vertex, the x value is negative b over 2 times a. So I'm going to do negative 8 over 2 times 1. That's a 1 right there, which is going to give me negative 8 over 2, which is negative 4. And then I'll plug that negative 4 into the function. So that's going to be negative 4 squared plus 8 times negative 4 plus 6. And you know, if you're using a graphic calculator, calculator, this is where things become a lot easier. Negative 4 squared plus 8 times negative 4 plus 6 comes out to negative 10. So my vertex is at negative 4, negative 10. Negative 4, negative 10, way down here. All right, and then I can also see that my y-intercept is 6. So I'll plot that point and it'll give me a parabola. So again, y-intercept is 6. You can also see that the vertical stretch is 1, so that shows up right here. As you go up 1 from the vertex, it goes right 1. That doesn't maintain forever, but it does for the first point. Let's do this a few more times. We're flying now. Okay, so let's find the vertex here. The x value of the vertex is negative b over 2 times a. 2 times negative 7 would be negative 14. So that's 1. And the y value of my vertex would be when I put 1 into the function. Uh, so negative 7 times 1 squared plus 14 times 1 minus 1. And again, I, I'm going to use the graphing calculator to get this value for me. Not that I couldn't do some mental math too, but that comes out to 6. So 1, 6 is our vertex. There it is, 1, 6. And I can see the y-intercept is negative 1. So that's the point I'm going to grab. Just go down here and plot that point. You can see that it's a negative a value, so we know that the parabola is going to open down. There we go. So negative 1, that's where I got my y-intercept. Um, this negative 7, you see it goes down 7 before it goes right or left 1. 
Now this one, we're not gonna be able to use the y-intercept because it goes right off the graph, but the same process um, from the beginning here though, let's find the x value of the vertex, negative b, so we could do the opposite of b, which would be eight, I'm trying to use a little mental math here, over two times a, two times two is four. So that's the x value of our vertex. So we're gonna do f at two, so two times two squared, minus eight times two plus the 13. And I'm gonna grab my calculator here and punch this in. Uh, two times two squared minus eight times two plus 13 gives me five. Oops. So my vertex is at two, five. There we go, two, five. Um, since I can't use the y-intercept, you know, I'm just going to use, because it doesn't fit on the graph, that is, I'm just going to use the vertical stretch of 2, mean, meaning I'm going to go up 2 and right 1 to get my next point. And it, it's not a constant rate of change, like linear, but it will work for one point. So there we go. And then we're going to do one more. This is advanced. It gets up there in the smart scores, and we get this. All right. So we got to find our vertex, x, just a second, let me use the same color I've been using here. So x equals negative b over 2 times a. Okay, that would be 4 thirds divided by negative 2 thirds, also known as 4 thirds times the reciprocal of negative 2 thirds, which would be negative 3 halves. And then I can see that some things cancel out here, like the 3s, and 2 goes into 4 twice. So I just end up with 2 times negative 1, which is negative 2. So there's the x value of the vertex. So, and, and again, I'm probably just going to plug the right side of this function into my calculator. I'm going to do negative one-third times negative two squared minus four-thirds times negative two minus 22 thirds. All right. So... And again, I'm, I'm just punching this into my calculator now. Negative one-third times negative two squared minus four-thirds times negative two minus 22 thirds. And that comes out to negative six. So F at negative two is negative six. So there's my vertex, negative two, negative six. All right, and again, I'm going to go heavy on the graphing calculator here um, to get another point. I, I can't graph that negative 7 and 1 thirds because IXL won't let me graph um, thirds. They'll let me graph halves, I think, but not thirds. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go three units to the right um, of this value here. Three units to the right would be at, at 1. The reason I'm choosing 3 is because of these 3s in the denominator. So I'm going to do the same thing, negative 1 third times negative two, nope, I'm sorry. Negative one third times one squared minus four thirds times one minus 22 thirds. And again, as you become better with the graphing calculator, um, you'll become faster at doing this kind of stuff too. That is negative nine. So F at one is negative nine. So that gives me another point, one, negative nine. One, negative nine, there it is. Okay, so notice when I went right three, it ended up going down three. All right, so inputs and outputs. All right, so that's everything for graphing quadratics with standard form. The key thing here is 
um, on top of y-intercepts and vertical stretches and things like that is that your x value of your vertex is negative b over 2a. That's what we got to utilize first and foremost on this. Good luck. Let me know how it goes in the comments.